As part of a personnel recovery event, Air Combat Command initiated a field training exercise combining rescue operations and planning. U.S. Air Force, Army Special Forces, and two South American teams performed joint maneuvers for the first time on American soil. The efforts synchronized forces and demonstrated the interoperability of combat search and rescue. When our efforts are actually similar, it's easier for us to work together if we have, uh, you know, Air Force and Army and other government agencies working on the, on the same level. Um, there's no miscommunication. It's easier to accomplish the mission as a team. Obstacles were minimized using teamwork as the basis for the exercise. Once we actually started practicing together, it was amazing how um, within a few minutes, how everybody was reacting together and uh, the unity was there. If anything, like I said, at this point, we're not really training them or anything like that. They we're training each other. Regardless of experience, from a nine-year Special Forces veteran to a newcomer to personnel recovery, there was something for the players to take back with them. When we train with American uh, soldiers in Chile, we, we acquire a lot of experience, uh, a lot of uh, experience from them. We, we will back to Chile with a, a very great happiness, okay? Maybe, maybe this is the word. Well, I hope that we can go through our uh, different units that scattered along, uh, along Chile, um, uh, teach our guys what we have learned over here. We have like a whole bunch of things to work with and, and to play with. In the end, the efforts of each player during this training exercise may have a heavy impact on real-world events. Any opportunity we have to extend uh, the hand of friendship in, a, in any way that crosses the language barrier, or cultural barriers, anything like that, just builds our ability to do that in the future. Staff Sergeant Josie Wise, Bisbee Douglas International Airport, Arizona.